My name is Neil Malik from Knack Training, and in today's Everyday Office video, I'm going to demonstrate how everything that we've been doing with pivot tables in Microsoft Excel is totally feasible to do inside of Google Sheets as well. So as you can see, I've got this spreadsheet uh, with my employees in it, and these employees have a salary, and I might want to know total salary or average salary, stuff like that, and they also have categories that they fall into. Uh, what department do they work in? What state do they work in? What office do they work in? Things like that that we can use as a breakdown. So anytime we make a pivot table, we're always starting off with the same thing. Is my data set up into contiguous data, meaning there's no empty rows, no empty columns? Are there labels across the tops of this table of information? And then what story do I need to tell myself about this information? What kind of breakdown, what kind of calculation is useful to me? So I see that my data is set up appropriately, life is good there, and I ask myself, uh, maybe I want to know total salary broken down by each department. It's very easy to do. We click somewhere onto the information here in our Google Sheet, go up to the Data tab at the top of the screen, and you'll see the Pivot Table is the second option from the bottom. So go ahead and click on Pivot Table and uh, you'll see this empty pivot table entered in. Now the middle part of the pivot table, that's where the calculation is going to go. That's what we call the values field over here on the right. The left hand side could be one area to break the information down. That's what's called rows right here. And then columns, this area across the top is another opportunity to break the information down. So let's do the calculation first. I'm going to click on Add Field here for Values, and I'm going to say I want to know what the total salary is. So I find my salary field right here, click on it. Okay, so now do I want to summarize this by a sum? Yeah, that seems like a good idea. Notice that I could also count it or average it or do those sorts of things. Next up, on the rows area, I want to break this down by what department people work in. So I click on Add Field and choose Department from that drop-down menu. And there it is. Each of the different options for what department people work in and the sum total of the salary paid to those individuals. If I want to go a step further, I can click on Add Field here on Rows again, and I can say within each of those departments, people have different roles. So I can choose Role as a further breakdown here, and I can see that within Human Resources, I have Directors, Managers, and Specialists, so that I have a grand total of Human Resources of $2.5 million in salaries, broken down as a quarter million dollars to the Director, $668,000 to managers, and $1.6 million to various human resources specialists within that department. And as always, the identifier of what a pivot table really is supposed to do for us is in the word pivot. If we decide we no longer want to know the total salary by department, we can simply click the little X here to get rid of role, and click the little X here to get rid of department, and I can decide to click on Add Field and switch this out to State, and then click on Add Field and have a further breakdown by Office. So within California, I have the different offices. Within Colorado, I have the different offices, and I can see the grand total salary paid to each of those individual types.